What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for mail and mail? Ooh. Hey guys, it's Jazz from Nerdy Blation Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Well, this is a different kind of mail and mail because uh, we actually know, for the most part, what's in here. A fellow YouTuber, Gary over at Rock Solid Productions, reached out to us when we made a comment about having some Sega Master System issues. Now, Gary does a lot of videos where he shows how to open up your games, your consoles, really get in there, clean everything out. He likes to tinker around with that stuff, and he said he was willing to take a shot at getting those working again for us. The original Sega Master System and the Sega Master System 2 that our buddy Sega had shipped to us all the way from the UK. Now, to be fair, we had some ideas that that Sega Master System 2 might be more of a shelf piece. We didn't think it worked to begin with, but we thought if Gary wanted to give it a crack, then go for it. We actually got to meet Gary at Mo Game Con way back. Before the dark times. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and he was so starstruck with us that he thought we were with gaming off the grid. And we were like, hey, hey. It's all right. <laughs> we're, we're people too. It's okay. We're just do you dirt. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I did ask Gary if I could reimburse him for any of his repairs. He said not to worry about it. One, he was excited to kind of look everything over. And two, it made for an awesome video on his channel, which of course, link in the description. So please go check that out. Hey, this is the bubble wrap I sent. Now, I tried to pack everything up very nicely when I shipped it off to Gary, and he did the same when he sent it back. Now, spoilers, <laughs> he was not able to get this one going again, but check out his video to see all the things that he tried with this. And there is the original Sega Master System. Now, spoilers again, this one he did get working. I was having some issues with this console. It didn't seem to be wanting to read any of the games. On my end, it did seem like it was powering on, and I thought maybe there was an issue with the RF cable. But he actually cleaned everything up inside, and he got it working just from that. Although he did say there were some issues with the power cable, and he told me he sent another one just in case. I had actually opened this up myself at one point just to kind of give everything a little bit of a surface clean, but in his video, Gary really gets down in there, especially with uh, some of the contacts and the game port, and I appreciate that because it's it's probably been some time since this has had such a nice bath. <laughs> Stop looking at me, swan! I think that may be the extra power cables. Now, Gary sent me a notepad message of the note that he meant to put in the box, but he was so excited to send this off to us that he forgot until after the fact. But I do have a letter, and it reads, Dear Gaming Off The Grid. Well, we're off to a great start. I am glad that you sent your Sega Master Systems for me to get working for you. The standard SMS just needed a cleaning and new power supply, which I have included for you. To keep your games cleaner, I've included a few one-up cleaning cards for each, because I know Tom doesn't share. Hey! There are also some NES cartridge sleeves, one each, again, because Lacey doesn't share either. Oh, you might be onto something there. The SMS2 never showed any signs of life, kind of like me and my channel, all. Anyway, I've also included some games in the box for you to help with some import collecting. I hope you enjoy. Nice. It's like he said something a little extra. Extra? Um, I don't think he meant to send this. Oh. <laughs> Glad I wasn't reaching to there blindly. Uh, we got your trusty, rusty Zacto knife. So hit us up if you need this back. <laughs> we could, uh... <laughs> We could try to get that back to Either you. that or he thought it needed to defend itself on the way over here. It's kind of tricky in the postal system. Uh, good, good call. <laughs> no! Enough of all of that. Let's get to the fun <laughs> stuff. Gary said he packed in some extras and that he did, including... <gasps> oh, look at that! 
that? Some sleevage. Some rock solid production video game nice. dust sleeves by Video Game Dust Sleeves. I may just leave a link in the description for them as well. Love getting yep. the custom sleeves. Yep. Seriously, cannot say that enough. You're gonna have to tell us what game you want in your sleeve. Oh yeah. Speaking of customs, check it out. Awesome. I adore the fact that his business cards are one-up one -up cards. cards. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> And we've actually not ever picked up any one-up cards. I know, for shame, right? Shame, shame, shame! But now we will be able to keep everything clean like the hip kids do instead of using our old tactics of uh, Q-tips. Oh, we got quite a few. <laughs> nice. Well, we've got quite a few games that could probably use a good just a, cleaning. Just a anyway. little bit. Something that I don't think is going to need a cleaning at all is going to be our copy of Miracle Warriors. This was the cartridge that Sega had sent to us. I thought it was fitting to make sure this was the test cartridge for the Master Systems. So, The what system? Master System. <laughs> In Gary's video, he gave this a good clean too. I implore you to watch that video to really see how to best get into the carts and clean them all up. Guess what? That's a beautiful sight. Now, granted, the reflection from my light box, not so much. But that, that's a beautiful sight. Get in there! He was nice <laughs> enough to send back a little companion piece. Because, you know, the Master System 2 wants to have something in there. The Hang On Safari Hunt Master System Duo Cart. So look, now, now they both have carts in them. Get in there, my son! What are you talking about? <laughs> And he must have been thinking of you because he sent a Famicom game. And it's colored! It is a colored one. Law of the West. <laughs> and you even got a gunslinger. You're looking through his gun belt at the other gunslinger. It's high noon. We're going to beat somebody with our bullets. <laughs> beat somebody with our bullets. <laughs> Basically what you do, you shoot somebody, you're Hitting them with a bullet, you're beating them with a bullet. That's what you do. Okay. <laughs> and last, we have a Japanese Ooh. N64 cartridge. Looks like Kirby 64. That was very sweet of you yeah, to send some nice. extra games. Thank you so much. And of course, the one up cards that we will be putting to good use, keeping things a little more clean so maybe uh, everything will run more smoothly. And thank you so much, Gary, for taking a look at both consoles getting them all cleaned up and everything having a working master system again it's so nice there's so many great games on the master system and i can't believe i missed out on them growing up even though uh we got miracle warriors in there i suppose sega head wants us to try a one other master system game he did send you a game mm, that he did Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to play that one. I don't know. That can sit in this as shelf candy forever and ever. All right, nerdlings, leave some comments down below what you think of uh, the Sega Master System in general and what you think of Sega Head for sending that game. But more importantly, what you think of Gary for being so kind as to getting everything running for us again. Leave a like if you happen to like it. Hit the links in the description below. Check out some dust sleeves. Check out some cleaning videos. And of course, ring the bell. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And hey, the Retro Refresh now has merchandise too. And if we like it, we nerd it. And we're going to keep it clean. Clean and nerdy. That'll be nice. Smile <gasps> for the picture. Something to do with the RF cable. Psst. <sighs> Must chew plastic. Okay. Don't <laughs> use that, Tom. That was dumb.